Welcome back, everybody. We're on The Walking Dead, Season 3, Episode 12, yeah. and we're about to start Clear. Oh, that's what it's called. The, okay. the new the new episode is called Clear. We just got done. We'll do a quick recap, although I think we talked about it a lot last we time. We did, but so we probably don't really need to we say don't, much. It was called but, I Ain't um, Judas. It ended on... It was so crazy. The last thing we saw was Andrea going back to... Mm-hmm. She the didn't governor. do it. She didn't just kill him. And yeah. I don't, I sound terrible advocating for someone to kill someone, but I don't, I wouldn't blame her if she did. Yeah. So that brings us to episode 12, Clear. Any idea of what clear might mean or what that could be? <sighs> um, Maybe they clear out the prison. Maybe they go somewhere else. Okay. I don't know. That sounds that sounds like a good uh, good prediction. Well, let's jump right into it. Let's jump right in. Here we go. We tried for Stone Mountain. Oh, Aaron tried for Stone Mountain. Hey, slow down, slow down. Sorry, I'm begging you. Oh my gosh, Eric, like, or not Eric, Rick. Rick, you a good example to your son, please. Yeah. He's clearly in trouble. To be a new person to your group. You need people. You do. Part of why they might need to leave that prison is because they don't have like, all the people that that town has all. Oh, this is so sad. sympathy for Rick nowadays. He's gotten cold, he's mean, I don't think he's a good leader. I feel like Carl is making better decisions than Rick. Yeah. Oh, oh there's Aaron, the sign we saw. So sad. Why'd you let her go? She took you to Winber, right? And you said she just split on you. And Oscar died and you guys... It wasn't that really- simple. I asked her to come today. I didn't want to leave her at the prison if I wasn't there. Not with Merle. That and we got common interests. Just for right now? Yeah, just for right now. Uh, Help! It bothers me when someone needs help and no one will help them. Yeah. For supplies than like bullets and stuff. Yeah, weapons. There's other there. places to check. We may not have as many guns as we're in here, but. We need as many guns as we're in here. Ammo, too. Yeah, we do, but right now, I only got a line on a couple. Owners had a gun or two behind the counter that people didn't know about. I did, I signed the permits. Oh, that's I'm interesting. Since there. he was police, he knows where other people have guns. You have a problem with that approach? No, Rick, I don't have a problem. Ew, ew, ew. They're like, oh, they were burned. Ooh. Is this somebody else's camp or something? These signs are getting a little bit crazy. Because mm-hmm. they just sound very cryptic. Just listen. Yeah. Away with you. Oh, maybe all the poles sticking out everywhere are to kind of just pin them. Like, yeah. Because they don't really pay attention to where they're walking. They just move. A couple of the places are just up ahead. Let's get in. That's actually an interesting get the hell out of strategy here. to have things around to pin them. Yeah. So they can't keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
we should have that in there. Yeah. Wait. You'll get caught. In your ass. This is interesting. <gasps> Everyone's always against each other. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. The animal lover in me is like, can someone let that bird out of the cage so it can fly? Oh, he's gone. She got it. Oh, my. Oh, no. It's so frustrating how all of the survivors are battling each other instead of just battling the zombies. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Carl is going to need so much therapy. Yes. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I know it's a show, but I feel Those really sad for him being a kid going through all this. Yeah. You know what, you have to do that. Yeah, I do. Hmm. It's working body armor. See, that's what they should have all been doing. Yeah. He's alive. And we can't. for booby traps. Looks like he's gotten pretty creative so far. I thought we were just gonna get in and get the hell out of here. I'm not leaving on the street. I know you said he helped you. He saved my life. This is sad. Mm -hmm. Jesus, he has a son. This is really sad. You think he's in there? Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. Let's just get him inside and go. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Really though, having all those traps, like that's smart. Yeah. They didn't do anything like that. I know. But it's interesting because we see how all the different groups handle this differently. The yeah. ideas that they have. Like this group didn't think of making all these traps and stakes you would end up walking into. Like they didn't think of doing that. Yeah. They should all I can't believe they're back to where they started. This is crazy. It's so weird. scared because the sun is like, uh, what is it, Dwayne, that was the sun, right? Mm -hmm. He turned, oh, oh my goodness, he lost no. everything now. He lost his wife and his son. Yeah. We're going to wait for him to wake up, make sure he's okay. Can you imagine? He tried to kill us. He told us to go. He didn't know who we were. He tried to kill us. Can you imagine if it was your kid, like, yeah. he doesn't need half of these guns, we do. We're waiting for him to wake up, that's it. Have you taken a look around this place? I'm really sad about his son. I know him. He wasn't like this then. Oh, is it a map of like the town? Oh yeah. What do you see? It's a neighborhood. It's gone. Is that why you wanted to come? To see the house? I, I just wanted to come. Oh, this is sad. We're eating this food now. Hmm. Matt said welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm going on a run. Where? I thought maybe the one thing people didn't let with cribs. And there's that baby oh, place that Mike and Sarah ran. It's just around the corner. Coral. Yeah, it's idea. just around the corner. If you're gonna get a crib, you have to get the box. It's big and heavy. Probably. Yeah. You don't have to come with me. Can you handle it? 
Well, did Dad, I help you? Mm hmm. Uh oh, he's gonna get away now. I want to do this on my own. I have this feeling that he has this childlike belief that he just if passed he can the baby place. Home, then everything will be the way it was before. Yeah. Exactly. Getting due to something else first, okay? Oh, maybe he wants to get something of the mom's at the home to remind, like you know, to give her that belonged to her mother. I'm sorry this happened to you. Oh gosh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, this is scary. That's actually a good idea, though, to have the knife under your bed. Hmm, interesting. Oh, no! <clears throat> Do you know who I am? Do you see who I am? People wearing dead people's faces. What? So I don't know you. You do know Phantom. No, 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 no. Oh, save my life, Morgan. You know me. Look at me. This is intense. You don't clear me. You turn, you just die. You know me. I don't know anyone anymore. You go clear. No. What? You know me. You crazy son of a bitch. Please kill me. Oh, that's so sad. We only last year in my front yard, Morgan, you and... Okay, I thought he was going to be dead after being stabbed. Rick's been through a lot as far as like getting stabbed and shot. My name is Rick Grimes. You know me. I'm not wearing a dead man's face. I gave you this. I said I turn it on every day at dawn so you can find me. Rick? Wow. You said you turn yours on at dawn. That's what you said. I mean, I had worked up to it yet and on the roof every morning for, for days, for weeks, me and my boy. And then, you weren't there. You were never there. No, not when I tried. I mean, you said you would turn on your radio every day at dawn. You said that you would turn on your radio every day at dawn and you were not there. I found my wife. And my boy, I had people, I, I had to keep them safe. Word of God, I didn't have a choice. You can have your radio back, because it looks like I finally found you. You found your wife and your son. That's what happened, right? You found them. Did she, did your wife, did she, did she turn? No, she died. So you didn't have to see that then? Of course not. <sighs> not like me. You tried. What did I try, Morgan? What did I try? You tried to get me to do it because I was supposed to do it. I was supposed to kill her, my Jenny. I was checking out a cellar. And I didn't want Dwayne to come down there with me. And then when I came up, she was standing there right in front of him. And he had his gun up. And he couldn't do it. Is that how he turned? His mother turned him? So I called to him. And he turned. And then she was just... No. Just on him. So she killed her own son. I mean, of course, she didn't know. But she yeah. killed her own son. Everything is red. Everything I see is red. And I do it. Hey, your boy. Is he dead? No, he will be. No. Well, don't tell him that. People like you. Good people, they always die. And the bad people do too. But the weak people, the people like me. Oh, that's so sad he's calling himself we weak. Have inherited the earth. That's what this does to you, I guess. Living yeah. this way all the time. Mm hmm. Everything's always dirty. Yeah. I wonder if 
wondered if Carl ever thinks about, like, his school friends and their families and, like, you know, who does he have left, that kind of stuff. Yeah. I just think it's none of your business. You don't know me. You don't know my dad. I came anyone... out here to help. You came out here for common interests. <laughs> He's repeating his dad. Yeah. And that's why you're here. That's it. This is important. I'm glad she's with him. Nope, he should be traveling alone. That's ridiculous. No one should be alone right now. Bringing in bait. I thought they were gonna save the little animals, but instead they're just gonna use them. <gasps> Ew, I thought that was a live person at first, but I think it's a walker. It is. Waking up. Do they sleep? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I thought it was like a sentimental thing. It's just a random thing she liked and wanted thing. to take. <laughs> I think you're supposed to come back with us. <laughs> he needs That's to be in a group. I think part of why he's losing his mind is just the isolation and loneliness. And if he's with a group, he might get better. Yeah. I don't know. I can kill you. I'll take that as a sign. We found a prison. Defenses can keep him out. Is that where your wife died? He doesn't know they had a baby. Look, I can help you. You can come back with us, you can heal. You're taking a lot of guns, Rick. No, I'm just saying that that all is a lot of guns. <laughs> Why do you need the guns, Rick? Because if you got something good, that just means that there's someone who wants to take it. Mm, and that is what is right. happening, right? We're gonna win. You will be torn apart by teeth or bullets. You and your boy. Your people, but not me. Because I am not going to watch that happen again. Yeah, you take the gun. You know there's a chance. That's what you can't square. That's what hurts. I have to clear. That's why I didn't die today. I'm That's sad the sign. because I thought... I have to, man. I have to. That when he came back, he was going to find that Morgan and his son were... I have to You clear. know, doing okay. And they had their own little group or their own little... Yeah, they could Not make... that he was all alone, isolated in this house, going out of his mind. Like, I just thought he'd have his own group or something. Yeah. Just about to look for you. Sorry. It's all right. You're here now. I can't believe he's walking around with a stab wound. Mm. <laughs> that's not even a real crib. I think that's one of those, like, pack and play things, which that's pretty much all they can handle. I don't think they can handle an actual wood crib. I had to shoot you. You know I had to, right? I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Don't ever be sorry. It's good there's a tax services place right there for when they need to get their taxes done. That's this year. very convenient. Everything okay with her? She might be one of us. Oh, good. <laughs> what? I know you see things. Oh, boy. People. I used to talk to my dead boyfriend. I want to drive. <laughs> yeah. Good. Like, let's change the subject. <laughs> yeah. I see things. Oh, <gasps> they didn't help him and he got, oh. He got killed. They're just going to take his stuff, too. Yeah. What a, that makes, like, that makes me upset, man. Yeah. There's some regret. Wow. But They're just too cold. That is so sick that they wouldn't help him and then they finally found his dead body. Yeah. 
Oh. That's it bother, the thing it bothers the me too. That bothers me the most. Finding that guy dead after you wouldn't help them. Because I always feel like sometimes it can be very um, arbitrary on who we'd select to right. save and who not to save. The episode itself, though, felt like a little bit slower mm -hmm. paced and not as much. I wasn't screaming as well, not screaming, but like yeah. I'll be like, <gasps> you know, I wasn't doing that as often. Yeah. I feel like um, they, they probably could have made this one story since it only centered around four people. Like, we mm -hmm. only see four characters. I guess it was almost bottle episode-ish a little bit. Right. Uh, but um, Wait, this so did they really, in the whole episode, we didn't see the other group at all? Though. I, that's so weird. I did enjoy this episode, though. Yeah. I mean, I personally. I liked it, too. You liked it? Yeah, I, I liked it. Um, so it, it was uh, good to see Morgan. Um, what do you think? Uh, do you think that's the end of Morgan's story? Or what do you? how do you feel right now? He didn't come back the way I thought he would. Mm -hmm. um, I I kind of hope that Rick saw how he could get if he doesn't. Like, the way that Morgan got is kind of how Rick could get. Yeah. Like, he's kind of out of his mind, and Rick's having some issues. And I feel like Rick needs to take that as a warning for himself to, mm -hmm. like, make sure he's not ending up the way that Morgan is. Yeah. Um, but I am I'm really disappointed that Morgan didn't go with them. There's no clear-cut good. There's no clear-cut bad as far as characters go. Right. Everyone is sort of like up and down all around. You don't really know. Right. So it's it's uh, kind of hitting that. And we're seeing that with Rick's character. You're like, oh, I, I love Rick. And then it's, oh, why did he do that? Uh, you yeah. know, and it's kind of no, you question like your, him, you're questioning yourself on, on, on his decisions. And um, But yeah, that's just, uh, it's really interesting, though, about how they do the characters. There's just no clear-cut. Yeah. Yeah, but I feel like Rick is being a bad example for Carl. So. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's that's kind of, that's how I feel too. Yeah. So, but um, it was good to see Michonne and um, Carl have that moment. Yeah, I'm really glad that Carl seems like oh, okay, this is a good person because mm. that'll help overall. I know it's just one person in the group, but it will help. Yeah, and it's somebody that Rick didn't really trust, trust, and then Carl, I think, will the scene that oh well, wait, we can trust. All right, well, I guess we're on to the next episode. Yeah, so it's 13. We're on, we're going. Season 3, so 13 is next. All right, we'll see y'all in 13. Uh, uh.